What's next? No messages for you, Commander. Good. Oh, I'm busy. Uh, time to leave. Fuel reserves at fifty percent. got to do next and that done that not doing that yet yes we've only got the crescent nebula left if a bunch of stuff to do here though question is what do we do first well scanning's first because I still need materials and stuff <clears throat> Ilium is a classic garden world developed to serve as entropot between the Terminus systems and the Asaru Republics. To abet this trade, the normally stringent customs laws of Council Space on product safety, prescribed materials, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world, it is colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives it the same legal latitude enjoyed by the human corporate research enclaves of Navaria. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born on the world is only now reaching her middle age. The world is hot and massive. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. In more equatorial locations, the population is housed in arcology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Uh, surface temperature 63 Celsius. Yeah, fuck that noise. Uh, let's take Tali and Garrus. I love Garrus. He's just too good. Uh, come back to you. I'm a piercing ammo. Sure. Energy drain. Sure. Do I have a better sniper rifle for him now? I guess it's that one. Yeah, all good there. Cool. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. Uh oh. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Okay, where's the trading floor? You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. <laughs> All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. 
I need a boot licker. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? Apart from it's the slaves. It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What? What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge and goods from the Terminus systems. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Bet she was. Also, yeah, isn't she working for like the Shadow Broker or something? I think that's why we have to contact her. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I don't know how much money I have. I spent a lot of it in the Citadel. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicate a Justicar named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. That's a lot of people to talk to, but okay. Trading floor. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Just a bit cleaner. I see. Totally. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Give me something. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. What a bunch of turds. Quarians are cool. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Who's asking? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard... We hide, we borrow, we build, but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. 
They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Damn, it's cool to see or slash hear something from them. I was wondering if that was going to have any repercussions from the previous game. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Yeah, as long as they don't go, like, murdering and causing wars and stuff again. Because wasn't it the Rachni that the Krogan were used to basically eradicate? Then apparently some escaped, and then we found them being experimented on, and then we saved them, and now they've kind of pledged their alliance to us, which is kind of cool, but still. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. Reapers? She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Okay, interesting, but still behave yourself. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Okay. That was cool, I guess. Yana Parasini? Why do I want to talk to you? Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Who are you? Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini, you owe me a beer. That I do. Have a seat. Sure. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. It's empty. Oh, I see. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Asari merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk? Can you talk her into showing you good stuff? Wait, yeah, and I kind of want the good stuff. Uh. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. 
My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Damn here, straight. a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Gimme. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Gimme. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. You mean? Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. What? I'm... What? What do you do? I'm so confused. Thanks for the discount, though. Uh, hyperamp. Damn, I'm poor. God damn it. Squad bonus plus 40% biotic damage. That'd be nice to have as well. Quantum threading doubles the time limit for bypass. Oh, damn. I don't really need it, but it's cool though. 50% tech power damage. <laughs> Medi gel capacity. Kestrel helmet. Headshot damage. Weapon damage. Increased shields. Damn good, but covers my face. Also sheath. Um, melee damage. Weapon damage. Shield strength. That I can get on board with. Kestrel shoulder pieces. Looks by 8%, melee damage by 10. I should have came here a lot sooner. The arms look kind of kind of air, but I'm going to buy the rest of them. Well, I'm going to buy all of it, but I just probably won't wear the hat. Power pack. Sure. Need to make some money. Uh... We'll get the medi gel capacity. We're more likely to use that. Coming in handy. So I need another 150, 175k. Ugh. Where can I make some money? I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. I'm sure you do. Certainly, sir. Safe too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. Strange. Where's that go? Eternity? Hmm, let's go talk to the lady again. Do you have anything for here? Alright, I'm tired of listening to him. I want something that Hello. Says... Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. Give me credits. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. Is this time real, huh? Wait, sure, fuck okay. it. So do I actually get to talk to you this time? Or do I need to help you do your job again? Hey, come on, Shepard. Wasn't it at least a little fun? I do the groundwork, you swoop in and get the mark talking. Hell, and get at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. Oh, I remember you now. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. 
It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. She's in like a constant state of surprise and it's kind of funny. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Give me money, I helped you. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Pardon? Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Oh, that was odd. Uh, okay. That was odd. Not sure why she has a thing for us, but sure. Up through here. Transport shipping. Know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Who are you talking to? Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Alright, alright. I see you got that Bluetooth hands free stuff. I don't care about the news. fun that I can find around here. Hello. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay. Bye then. The council thought that Blasto, the first NR Spectre, would play by the rules. This one has forgotten whether its heat sink is over capacity. It wonders whether the criminal scum considers itself fortunate. What is this? They were wrong. This one doesn't have time for your solid waste excretions. He's got a lover in every port and a gun in every tentacle. And kindle this. Blasto the jellyfish stings available for extra no. purchase this fall. From <laughs> it's, it's like a weird. <laughs> I'm so confused. Trust me, the goods coming okay. in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Police. Oh, officer. No, Dion. she won't even talk to me. I don't know. She really has it in for humans. That might explain the damn contract. You're Shepard. No, I'm not. I don't know if you remember me. Nope. I was a colonist at Zoo's Hope on Pharos. You saved us from that enormous Geth attack and from the Thorian creature's control. Oh, that thing. After you killed the Thorian, we rebuilt. Zoo's hope is beautiful now, and we owe it all to you. You're welcome. How are the colonists doing? We're doing really well. Things are looking even better than they did before the Geth showed up. Exogeny pretty much left us alone. They just left with every bit of Thorian goop they could find. What brings you to Ilium? We've had health trouble, probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group. But the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. Tell me more about the contract you signed to have these scans done. Faria Frontiers offered to do medical scans for next to nothing. Said they'd just use anything interesting they found in us. But there's a line we missed about how if they find something, they can do follow-up procedures as they see fit, without our consent. They can't actually force these procedures upon you. This is Ilium. They have contracts for just about everything you can imagine. If we don't take the tests, they'll declare us in breach of contract. We can't afford the legal fees they could hit us with. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? 
We get these headaches, like we did when the Thorian was controlling us, and muscle twitches, nerve damage maybe, and sometimes we can feel each other. I can tell when someone nearby is in pain. That's creepy. I'll talk to the survey group. Really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk. Alright, I'll deal with it in a minute. Let me talk to Officer Dara. Nothing to declare. Move along. Never mind. Anything good going on here? Hi. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Are you really threatening me? What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters worked with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Oh. What is happening? I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. I'm straight or I'll just throw you off the balcony. I had more to talk to you about, but okay, fine. Star chart, Hades Nexus, navigation charts for the hate. Wait, what? Do I want these for something? I mean, they're fairly cheap. Fuck it. Oh, well, fine now. I really need to earn some money. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. You're the first purple one I've seen. All right, I fixed the problem. I just received the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. Zoo's hope is in your debt yet again. True. Okay. Helping people left and right. Weapons merchant. Don't mind if I do. Hello. You're sure. The store's Oops. over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. The store's over there. Okay, I just and don't get want a cute. discount. The whole place is monitored. Screw you. Heavy skin weave. 90 grand. Oh, I am so poor right now. I came here at the wrong time. 30% SMG gun damage. 40% protection. 50% AR damage. She's power damage by 5%. Sure, I can afford it. Can't afford anything else, but geez. How do I make money? Blue Rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of T'Chanka. 
Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. Sheeting rain? Or if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Like a hippie croaking and, and I don't care for it. Reject paddlefish. Black blue fish known for their odd locomotion and feeding habits. Or model. Okay. <laughs> this is so predatory. They're just showing me things I can afford. I mean, that's not predatory. <laughs> that's me and my bad spending habits in this game. Right. Hello. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. But <laughs> no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because you of the genophage. You have blossomed in a tower that sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our but kids would always have been a sorry. Nanasari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. I mean, he's a bit eccentric, but seems to be good so far. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. <laughs> okay. Uh. Hold on. I'll talk to you later. Oh, I still can't talk? Okay, fine. Just make a decision then. Hi. Please try to ignore my non-boyfriend's non-poetry. Can I help you? You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, plus, he's really fucking annoying. Listen, he's a Krogan. Any talk about kids is going to mess him up. I know. You can't talk to Krogan about the genophage. I get so angry. I mean, I can. If you settle down with him, you'll spend the rest of your life wondering if he was after you or kids. Yeah, you're right. I guess I needed to hear somebody else say it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. I just bought things, you... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Did he... Let me check. Did he throw himself over? No? Okay. God damn it! What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? What? Give the me a dis- I'm fine. And Talk. don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. <laughs> Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? Asari skin color and the Doppler effect? Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. Buy the fucking fish. Right, anyway. Um, it's just... We're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60. I'm telling you, relax. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse Mercs, some just a car. Harris, move. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. I'm on a call. <sighs> There's a lot of rude people here. Okay. Um, 
guess we'll go back the way we came. Seems like a dead end, a dead end in here. Taxi stand. Okay. So wait, wait. We came in through here. I think. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't look over here, and we have to check out Liara's office. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for years. Not odd. Alright, uh, so I guess we're going up this way? I think? If this is the best you yeah, yeah, shut it. Do. But you're certain the neural stimulators Later today, are compatible we'll with hear from survey teams talking about the latest technology. Anybody interesting up here? Seems like a very pointless room, but okay. Did I just say slave broker? It does. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why would I do that? Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. I still don't trust you. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What if I buy her for like a day? What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. <sighs> okay, I'll help. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Only because she's voluntary. At volunteering. So there's a weird slavery deal happening here, and over here there's a bachelor party with a lady dancing on a table. What? I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding, and that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. 
I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. True. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. That point. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? The okay, fuck? now that's offensive. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. Mm -hmm. But we actually nope. reproduce by my word. She is very limber. Oh dear. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of she is a lovely shade of blue okay that makes my legs hurt just watching it and my knees are meant to bend that way <laughs> <laughs> this isn't as bad as i feared it's actually I is it warm in here okay you see that bit there a little divot in her abdomen it's called a belly button humans and asari have them and you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight that can't be sanitary not the point man I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Salarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Bluturians. Look at the head fringe. Wait, you don't think they're like mind-controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. What is this conversation devolving into? Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. Okay. My Hold family now. simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Hello. Welcome to Eternity. I am Athena, Asari matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. How strange. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Kick in the quad? What? Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. One of the things I'm trying to find out. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. 
All that a sorry wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? I'll take a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. <laughs> Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Keep saying that. A lot of liquor. Sweet and mellow glass. Famous Asari honey mead. Mystery drink. Whatever this is, its rumors come from the deepest reaches of the Traverse, distilled on a shadowy, nameless planet by a specifically aptitude torture. Uh, sure. Mystery drink. Probably a bad idea. Hold on to your livers. Okay. Uh, I gotta talk to somebody about some slaves. Is it you? Yes, sir. Can I help you with something? <laughs> Would you like a quarry? How would you like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. I see what's going on here. This isn't about slaves. You just don't want to hire a quarry. <laughs> what? But... Uh, but... I'd hate to see the migrant fleet park the entire flotilla in orbit over your headquarters to protest your racism. Synthetic Insights has a strict non-discrimination policy. We don't just hire indentured servants. Maybe I'll take this to Ilium's Trade Bureau, just to be sure. Wait! Let's not do anything crazy. We don't want to waste the Bureau's time. Okay? Fine. I'll go draw up a contract. Just leave Ilium's bureaucracy out of it. This quarian had better be good, though. That was easy. <laughs> Yo, I got you a job. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I didn't do it for you. I did it for her. Regardless, a kindness to her is mine to repay. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Lots of thank money. You. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Please do. 50 XP. Is that it? You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat, even. Okay, I kind of feel bad. I don't want to make you sick. I do want to know what you look like. <laughs> Sorry, Tali. Hello? Who are you? Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. Yeah, me. No? Okay. Where the fuck is, um... If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't gonna kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the Turian and Quarian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... what? Oh yeah, standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh here, let me fire it whoa, up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, excuse me, human. What? Private conversation. 
little space, please. All right, I'll listen. Hang on, I'll listen from over here. Try again. Hold on. <laughs> what? I want to know. So then he says, "Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different, so it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural." I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. I'm grossed out now. How could he be so insensitive? Gross. All right. 